It's Johnny Jones, I'm here at home, and today I have a realistic Navajo that I got for $15 on eBay. Because there's a secret trick, that sounds like a YouTuber, right? There's a secret trick you need to know, but really, there's a secret trick uh, to get these so cheap that a lot of people don't know about when they sell these. Um, if you, uh, so I'll, I'll track, if you look at my other YouTube video on how to buy things cheap on eBay, I track, um, specific items like the Navajo base stations and whenever they're posted, uh, like this one was posted for 15, I instantly buy them up as soon as they're posted because it notifies me when they're newly listed. So the seller said, Hey, I don't know if it works. It doesn't turn on when I, when I plug it up, right? Well, if you're a CB radio guy, see if you can tell me what's wrong with this radio. Oh, no, wait for it. Still waiting? Okay. Now, is there in any way possible anything that you see that would keep this from turning on if I hook it to AC? You are absolutely right. It's on DC. Now it's on AC. I don't know how many times I've seen these radios on DC 12.5 here, uh, and people sell them for nothing because they don't work, because people aren't paying attention or they don't know either way the great thing about these radios and why I try to buy these Navajos is because a lot of times people don't modify them they're seen as like crappy radios to the screwdriver jockey community uh, whereas most of the time if I buy a 29 it's got shit wrong with it all the time there's always something added removed clipped these are usually stock standard no one's messed with them I haven't seen one yet that someone has messed with um, as far as adding modifications or clipping anything. So we're going to go ahead and hook this up, see what it does, and see if we got a good deal. Now, the one thing you want to look for when you're buying any radio is check the screws in the in the images on eBay, if that's where you're buying it. Um, if these screws are loose or missing or look like they've been gouged or anything, chances are someone's been in there recently to try to fix it. These don't look disturbed at all. In fact, they have some corrosion on them, which is a good sign that no one's been in this at all, or at least for a, they haven't been in it for a very long time. So we have a good chance of this actually working. I've got it hooked up to my dummy load and my dosi. Let's see. Moment of truth. Is Johnny an idiot? Oh, damn. Johnny wasn't an idiot. You lost. I know you were counting on it. Let's see here. The knob's a little bit crusty, but let's just go middle of the band, see what our power output is. No modulation. Oh no! No modulation at all! That's not a big deal. Let's switch mics. I got a power mic hooked up. I use this a lot. As you can tell, it's kind of dingy. <laughs> let's see if we get any modulation. Audio. Hello. One, two. Audio. Auga, hello, 19. <whistles> All right. Um, this swinging pretty well, actually. Probably needs a cap change. <whistles> About nine watts there, actually. This seems like a nice little radio here. Now, the one thing I will say about it is I'm getting a little bit of transformer buzz here, which can be a little noisy, but it's not audible, but I can feel it. So, the transformer... The, um, the laminated uh, core in there can sometimes break apart and buzz a little bit. You can fix that with, um, with uh, high-performance glue, by the way. But I won't go into that now. Let's just uh, see what we sound like. All right, we got a lot of skip rolling in today, so I got a channel that uh, was fairly clear. Check one, two, three. Audio, test one, two, three. Tango, echo, Sierra, tango. One, two, check. Audio. Damn, that sounds good, actually. Hmm. Well, let's see what it sounds like coming through here. Test one, two, three. One, two, three. Test one, two, three, four. Get your body on the floor. It works. It works. I'm sorry, guys. Tango, Echo, Sierra, Tango. Yeah, I mean, the mic that I'm using for this, uh, this base station is kind of stock and crap. It's an old, uh, president mic that comes stock, so... It's got a little bit of a <coughs> twang to it. Twin, twi twenty, tinny, ten, tinny, tinny, ten, 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 ten. Why are you watching my videos? I don't know. Anyways, so 
Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. We got a good deal, I say, don't you, boy? Uh-huh. And the great part about it all is that you guys will love this freaking video because this is exactly what kind of video I was needing at this time in my life where my packages aren't showing up. I'm trying to make videos on toys. <sighs> Anyways, let's get to our songs of the day. Today's songs are sort of an experiment in itself. Uh, the first song is Tom Kiefer, Death of Me. Now, Tom Kiefer, if you don't know who he was, he was the lead singer of Cinderella. It was a hair glam metal band back in the late 80s. I never really cared that much for Cinderella because I felt it was a lot really cheesy and sort of gimmicky. But the man ended up getting um, the flu and it ruined his vocal cords because a, or a virus ended up disturbing his vocal cords. So the man had like seven vocal surgeries and he sings like three hours a day and he's still trying. So I just thought, you know what, I'll share two songs with you. One from Cinderella, Don't Know What You Got Until, or Don't Know What You Got Until It's Gone. Uh, I'll put this, of course, in my uh, music for subs list. I, you know, it's they made really cheesy songs. <laughs> they really, I mean, they weren't my favorite songs. Um, but now it's incredible to see in uh, in in, in uh, the future, this that many years ahead, all the crap that he went through just to keep going um it's incredible i'll show you it there it's it's incredible what he's went through so although he may not be the best musician of all time or the best singer of all time it is really something to have the one thing that makes you money completely gone and have to work for years and years to get it back uh anyways i think that's about it it's johnny jones i'm here at home and i'll see you later